La Monte is a French series on Netflix. It is entirely in French. It is a couple of years old now. I watched it last year, but I never got around to reviewing it. And these days, lots of people are looking for things to watch on Netflix and other platforms. And I'm looking for videos to make and things to review. So I thought I'll come back to this. I have since watched it again, just in French without the subtitles. One thing that stopped me reviewing this series initially, because on the surface, it would seem to be right up my alley. It's in French, it's a crime series. I love this sort of stuff. But as I started writing a review last year, I just couldn't move away from comparing it to Silence of the Lambs. There are a few things that on the surface of it make it very comparable to Silence of the Lambs. It would be hard to miss, basically. If you've seen Silence of the Lambs and then you watch this series, you couldn't really not compare it. For starters, we've got a serial killer who's long been in prison, who is now helping out with another serial killer case. But then there's even unnecessary things like this serial killer is on like heavy restraints the whole time. They're not in just a normal prison, they're in their own special kind of ward, which doesn't really make sense because she's not really shown to be a particularly dangerous person. I mean, any more dangerous than any other high security inmates. And for some reason, she gets this whole elaborate restraint system that just seems like they really liked that idea and they kind of think they're paying homage to Silence of the Lambs, but really it just comes off like you're not watching something original. There's nothing really wrong with this series. In many ways, it's heaps better than a lot of the stuff on Netflix and certainly a lot of the French language stuff on Netflix, but I've watched it twice now and there's nothing I can ever really remember about this series. I try to think of what happened and I can think of, yes, the actual details of who it was and some of that stuff, but none of the real impact of this series has a lasting, makes a lasting memory for me. I can't really think of like, oh, what was that about again? I can't really remember any scenes having a strong impact on me. And it needs to be said that this is not for a lack of competent directing. Some of the shots are really nice and the acting is good, especially by Carole Bouquet, who plays the Mantis. She was a Bond girl in 1981, it turns out, and she does a great job. The scenes I do remember are definitely the ones with her in them. Ils veulent te voir mourir. Dans la nature, les êtres comme toi sont sacrifiés, éjectés du nid de la meute. And even the plot is fine. The misdirection, especially, I remember being fairly sure that certain characters were hiding things and then being incorrect in one way or another about that. So it isn't the directing, it isn't the acting, and it isn't the plot. It may be to an extent the music. People don't think music matters, but then go and see Trapped or Arrival or indeed Silence of the Lambs, and you're like, Whoa. So it might be the music to a certain extent, but I think the main reason that this series hasn't the impact that it feels like it could have is the ideas. Let's take a few of the most popular series of the modern era as examples. Westworld, Dark, Chernobyl. The thing that is so addictive in these series is that they have enticing ideas. Even Chernobyl, it's basically a recount of true events, but it's an enticing true event. For most of it's, it's such a foreign concept, the idea of a nuclear meltdown. And then what made that series great was the way they invoked that idea and played it so that it scared us and interested us. I think that the problem with the Mantis is that they don't invoke the thrill of a serial killer or any other enticing ideas. I feel like when I've watched the Mantis, I've just watched a bunch of competently made scenes strung together. This is also a pretty grisly series, which is fine, but, and I said a similar thing in my review of Darkness, Those Who Kill, when the series is this unengaging, the grisliness is more jarring than anything. You don't feel involved in the story. So when you see someone with say their head missing, it just feels gross. It doesn't feel dark, there's a difference. Now, of course, there are no spoilers. This is a review, not a breakdown, but let's just say that the conclusion was okay. And I was like, yep, yeah, all right, I can live with that. But also, it just isn't possible. When you rewatch it, if this killer was actually this skilled, then I can't say anymore, but it's completely outrageous. 
In the end, The Mantis, for all its competent directing, decent cinematography, good acting, especially from one actress in particular, it all just adds up to something less than the sum of its parts. Like I said, I watched it twice and I can barely remember it. I just don't feel like this series has any kind of lasting impact. So all in all, I don't mind whether you watch it or not. Don't mind is five out of 10 for me. It's a completely neutral ranking. So it's not bad, but at the same time, there are much better things you can watch. I guess you can watch it if you're looking for French things to watch. There are worse options out there. Oh, I've mentioned those on this channel before. But yeah, if you're not learning French, there's so much better stuff you could watch. I wouldn't bother. Thanks for watching all the way through. That always helps as well. Go and watch some other videos, all that stuff. And I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Stay well in the meantime. Bye-bye.